As mentioned in the introduction and proposals section, there is a third set of competencies being proposed alongside the updated A neutra and R neutra competencies. And this is a short set of competencies specific to freelance and independent practice. There are already expectations that AFN registrants working in independent practice are demonstrating that they have the skills and knowledge required to do so while upholding the AFN standards of ethics, conduct and performance and working within their individual scope of practice. However, during our competencies review process, it was highlighted to us that although many registrants are going straight into freelance or independent practice when they leave university, they may not be equipped with all of the practical elements required to do so. Employers and registrants felt that there was therefore a requirement to strengthen or introduce core competencies related specifically to independent practice. However, because not all registrants practice independently and therefore can't be expected to have to demonstrate something they're not doing, it was felt that these competencies shouldn't be included within the current A neutra or R neutra documents, but instead should be a standalone set sitting alongside the main documents. We developed this new set in the same manner as the others, and we also held an extra series of focus groups with employers and freelancers from all specialism areas to help shape these. During that process, feedback suggested that the independent practice competencies should fall under three broad areas. Legal aspects, communications and consultation skills, and reflection, evaluation and support. Some similar sections are also in the A neutra and R neutra documents, but these ones are specifically related to independent practice. And as mentioned, not all registrants work independently. Our core competencies, as in those set out in the A neutra and R neutra documents, cover the minimum standards required for all registrants. We're proposing that this new set of competencies sits alongside the A neutra and R neutra competencies for all registrants working in freelance and independent practice. We are proposing that applicants demonstrate achievement of these either through an AFN accredited university degree, where this can be optionally delivered by the university and successful completion confirmed to AFN, or through AFN endorsed CPD training, where evidence of completion and a declaration of compliance can be made. We would also foresee that there would be a grandparenting period, allowing those who currently practice independently to submit a self-declaration of compliance. There are several possible formats in which we could recognise the achievement of these. This could be either through a statement beside your name on the register, a requirement for takes clients to state yes, however that might not be appropriate for all freelancers. It could be recognised within the professional title, or people may suggest something else during the consultation process. And there is a question in the consultation that asks you just this, so you can choose your preference or you can write something else in the comment box.